Hello everybody, this video is going to be about the mandibular canine. First we'll go over the shape of the tooth. From a buccal or lingual view, the tooth is going to be shaped like a pentagon. From a mesial distal view, it's going to be triangular. And then from an incisal, it's going to be shaped like a diamond. Or you might see it described as being oval. Okay, the shape, you'll see a couple questions come up on this occasionally regarding the outline of the facial. And so the facial outline when viewed from the proximal is made up of one continuous arc. And so if you look at the shape right here, it's just smooth and it's one arc. And this is different than the maxillary canine, which has three planes. And I put board question all day long because you'll see this a lot in the practice tests. All right, the mesial outline when viewed from the facial, uh, from the contact area down to the root apex is pretty straight. The mesial axial surface is going to be parallel to the long axis of the tooth. So on the mandibular canine, we've got two areas of the tooth we can take questions from regarding shape. So the facial outline is going to be one continuous arc, and then the mesial is going to be uh, pretty much parallel to the long axis of the root. And you'll occasionally get questions that ask um, something like you have two teeth in your hands and it, it will describe the tooth anatomy to you and you'll have to decide um, if the tooth is on the right side of the mouth or the left side of the mouth. And so this is a good way to determine that. Okay, the contact on the mesial, it's going to be in the incisal third. And then on the distal, it's going to be in the middle third. Okay, size is another area that you'll see a lot of questions on. When this tooth has the longest crown, you'll see questions on that. And then it's the second longest tooth overall. So we're talking crown plus root here. So the maxillary canine is the longest. And then it has the second longest root. And remember, the maxillary canine has the longest root. You'll see um, questions about the facial lingual measurement. Okay, and so if we're looking at the facial right here and then we're moving to the lingual, the facial lingual measurement is greater than the mesial distal measurement. And so it's a longer tooth in a facial lingual direction than it is in a mesial direction, in a mesial distal direction. And that is the same as the maxillary canine. All right, lingual anatomy is one way to distinguish this tooth from the maxillary canine. So if you recall, when we talked about the maxillary canine in the last video, we mentioned the lingual ridge and how there's some very distinctive anatomy on the lingual of the tooth, whereas on the mandibular canine, it's pretty flat on the lingual side. So it's relatively flat in the fossa area, poorly developed in the margin marginal ridge area and then it has a poorly developed cingulum. And so this is another way that you can distinguish uh, upper canines from lower canines. All right, cusp tip. You'll see this kind of lingo on the test a lot. So the cusp tip is, and this is if you're looking at it from an incisal direction, the cusp tip is lingual to the facial lingual long axis bisector. So here's a question for you. From an incisal view, which surface is going to be more visible, the facial or the lingual surface? And so here we've got the cusp tip. And if we go back to the previous slide, the cusp tip is lingual, tends towards the lingual. And so we're going to see more of the facial than we are the lingual. All right, the root, this is going to be the only tooth with a root that's inclined measly. And anytime we've got an only, Anytime a tooth is an only or an exception, uh, we got to remember that because they like to ask questions on that kind of thing. So um, the this tooth is the anterior tooth most likely to have a bifurcated root. Okay, And so that's more often than maxillary canine, maxillary central, and all of the rest of them you see here. So that's, that's something you might see come up occasionally. Um, that's it for today, everybody. Thanks for tuning in.